Hey everyone, I'm currently waiting for this Rayquaza 5 star egg to hatch right here. I have about 8 minutes left until that bad boy is ready for us to take on. But I also wanted to uh, discuss some current news going on. Also, I do have some awesome Chicago travel vlog footage for you guys that kind of surrounds the beginning of the GoFest experience. I already published all my GoFest uh, vlog footage, so if you're interested in that, hit that video card right up there. You can take a look at that. But this vlog has more to do with the travel to Chicago and the YouTuber meetup that we did there. Uh, so uh, be looking forward to that, but first let me get this news out of the way since it's important and relevant for right now. First we'll start with the news that isn't exactly new. We'll go from oldest to new since I haven't covered it yet in a vlog, so going to do it in this one. So you guys know that Ralts Community Day is tomorrow as of the filming of this video. Today is Friday, August 2nd, and Ralts Community Day happens on Saturday, August 3rd. And so the really exciting thing about Ralts Community Day is obviously shiny Ralts, which means you get shiny Ralt, Curlia, Gallade, and Gardevoir. Uh, especially for this one, this is going to be a unique community day where we'll have a line of four Pokemon, so three evolutions up from Ralt, depending on how you split it from Curlia. Whether it's male, it goes to Gallade, and then female goes to Gardevoir uh, for evolutions. So we'll have to be hunting for a lot of shiny Ralts that day. I'm super excited about that. And we're going to need Sinnoh Stones to be able to get Gallade as well. I do, I think I have about two or three I can throw in there and try to get some Gallade evolved uh, during that event. For the special move, Synchronoise, unlike the other vlog where I just mispronounced it completely, I called it Synchronize, the Synchronoise, which uh, Gallade and Gardevoir can both learn. Be ready for Ralts Community Day, 4 to 7 p.m. your local time on Saturday, August 3rd. Also, there will be four times incubator effectiveness for that community day window, which is gonna be really exciting. I love it when we we're able to hatch eggs a lot more faster. Yeah, that made a lot of sense. A lot more quickly <laughs> uh, for community day. I'm also going to be incubating quite a few eggs to get some decent stuff, hopefully some shinies out of these because your boy needs some shiny babies still. I have some, but I need more. That's it for announcement number one so far. We'll do the other ones a little later in the vlog. So go ahead and enjoy some Chicago travel footage for Pokemon Go Fest Chicago. Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, Erie, Cleveland, Valeria, Sandusky, Toledo, Bryan, Waterloo, Elkhart, South Bend, and our final destination tomorrow morning, Chicago, Illinois.
Okay, so that Rayquaza is now donezo, and also finished off my last shiny Mammo Swine that was in there. Let's see what we get for a CP. Something good, please! 2140, not that great. Shiny, no! That's so sad. What'd you get for, uh, 2166, not bad. While we're looking for another Rayquaza raid to do, we have another announcement in game to go over. Team Go Rocket has turned more species of Pokemon into Shadow Pokemon. Essentially what this is going to tell us is that there's a bunch of new Shadow Pokemon in the game uh, without going through all of the text here. If you really want to, you can check out in-game news for yourself and see what's going on there. So it looks like we're going to be getting uh, Shadow Poliwag, Grimer, Muck, Drowsy, Hypno, Cubone, Scyther, Magikarp, Houndour, Houndoom, and what we discussed earlier, Ralts. I also encountered a Shadow Drowsy today, so I can confirm that it is in the game now, and they are live. I haven't done a ton of them since, but get out there, why don't you go check that out. Now, why don't you go check some more Chicago Go Fest footage. Whew, we made it. What's going on, everyone? We finally made it to Chicago. We're ready for Go Fest here. My day is Friday, along with my wife, we're both doing go fest on friday but today is wednesday and we have a youtuber meetup to head to as well a little later today so we're gonna go do that shortly but first on our way here some exciting stuff was announced within the game we now have pokemon go fest global challenges including one for this pokemon go fest for chicago so let's go through them really really quickly thanks to a couple of gaming and pokemon go hub for the handy dandy charts as always so let's freaking do this guys all right so Pokemon Go Fest Chicago attendees need to complete 1 million research tasks to unlock two times catch candy. Alright, sounds cool, I like that. Team Instinct globally needs to complete 15 million research tasks to unlock one rare candy parade. Team Valor globally needs to complete 15 million research tasks to unlock half distance egg hatches. I haven't been doing very well in the hatching department as of late, I haven't hatched any shinies as far as I know lately but that's fine that's fine um we could get some good IV stuff as well shinies of course would be very very nice we shall see about that team mystic globally needs to complete 15 million research tasks to unlock two times hatch candy so get double the candy wait what's that what happens when we unlock all the bonuses unlock all the above bonuses and Raikou will be available in raids for a short period of time date and time to be announced later of course. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Raikou. Finally, at long last, the beasts are coming back in their shiny form. They haven't been back in, I can't even tell you how long. But now that they're coming back, we have the potential of having shinies caught in those raids when they come up with those super awesome, wonderful three-hour raid windows. Shoutouts to the Lapras raid day, which uh, you can find linked below. And that was really, really fun. Um, only got one shiny out of that, but I, I had a blast nonetheless. But those days are some of my favorite days to participate in and to create content for. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. GoFest Dortmund Global Challenge. So something similar to Pokemon GoFest Chicago. Candela's XP Research Challenge is going to be from July 4th, 1 a.m. to July 7th, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Pokemon GoFest Dortmund attendees need to complete 1 million research tasks to unlock... Three times catch XP. Okay, cool, cool. Team Instinct globally needs to complete 15 million research tasks to unlock one hour lucky eggs. Really cool. Team Valor needs to complete 15 million research tasks to unlock three times hatch XP. Hmm, okay, okay. I like the, the Valor rewards here, the ones that we're responsible for. I, I feel like we're accomplishing something here. Sorry, just speaking for my team. That, that's all. Ignore that. Anyway. Team Mystic, complete 15 million research tasks to unlock two times raid XP. All right. And of course, if you happen to do all of these in the set amount of time, we will also be having Inte into raids as well for a three hour raid window. And if we're lucky enough, guess what? We can encounter, or we may encounter, Shiny Inte. And last but certainly not least, we have GoFest Yokohama Global Challenge. And this one is from August 5th, 1 a.m to August 12th, 1 a.m. Pacific Time. Now this one's a little different. Pokemon Go Fest attendees at Yokohama need to complete three million research tasks to unlock three times Catch Stardust. I think this is because the event's going to be split between, I believe, three parks. 
at Yokohama. So that might be 1 million research tests per park. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Team Instinct globally needs to complete 25 million research tasks to unlock 3,000 additional Stardust Parade. So that looks like it's going to be on top of what you would normally get from a raid, which is really, really awesome. Team Valor needs to complete 25 million research tasks to unlock three times Hatch Stardust. Hmm. Okay, so more Hatch-related rewards right there for Team Valor. Right on. Team Mystic has to complete 25 million research tasks to unlock one hour star pieces. So that's actually kind of nice. In addition to the three times hatch stardust and of course the 3,000 plus stardust parade to lead up to Suicune raids happening at, at a later date that will be announced at some point in the future, which I believe I just said the same thing like three times. Anyway, if you're lucky enough, you might encounter shiny Suicune. So we have a lot of cool stuff coming up here this summer for Pokemon Go Fest all over the world. But right now, we're here in Chicago for Pokemon Go Fest Chicago. And we have some YouTubers to run into in a little bit. So let's head back downtown and uh, see if we can find any. We found another Rayquaza raid to do, waiting for some more people to show up for it. But we do have some shiny checks here to do in the meantime. So let's do Merkur. Nope. Cyndaquil, no. Okay, good. Whew. Caterpie? That'd be interesting, no? All right. No Caterpie. Swablu? Nope. Not Swablu either. Lastly, try Trico. I think Trico's the last one, and Trico's not shiny. So, basically, we're just waiting for enough people to show up to be able to take this on. I know we can do it, but I think my wife is out of passes for today. So, it's just me right now and some other people that we've organized to come and do this one. So, we're going to knock that out. Uh, in a moment. All right, guys. Requaz is almost down here. I was actually contributing nothing in that short amount of time just now because I was trying to focus the camera. But here we go. It's going down right now, and we're gonna get a CP of. Give me something good. Tell me that you're shiny. Twenty-one forty-two. I think that's what that was. But is it shiny though? That's the question that we need to answer right now. Is it shiny? No, it's not. God. Dang it. 2137, okay, it was worse than what I saw. I guess I saw 42 and then it counted down to 37, which is not far away from 2142. So this is, but um, we're gonna catch it anyway, of course, cause it's Rayquaza, we gotta catch Rayquaza, keep that streak up, right? So the next part of the video, I think we're gonna come in at, should be, <laughs> should be a good one when we're actually at Millennium Park in Chicago. And uh, something interesting happens to my friend T-Slayer, so keep an eye on that guy, uh, enjoy it. We're here at Millennium Park right now in downtown Chicago, in the Loop area actually, uh, waiting for the YouTubers to show up, the rest of them anyway. I'm sure we have plenty here already. And uh, that should be happening around 5.30. Then I believe we should be doing legendary dinner hour too at, I believe, five gyms that are located here in Millennium Park. Actually, I'll show you right now, turn on screen capture. I can give you a little bit of a look as to how things look around here. There's one gym right there. And there's another three there. There's more down there. And a couple over there. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here at this one park alone. So Community Day must be off the hook with all these stops and gyms down here. So uh, let's wait and see what happens next. <laughs> Change one 
Let's go to move that dirt. You know, my knee wants to work. You know, shoot me a little too, man, you know? You can't make no deal with those other nails, kid. <laughs> We found one more to do here at St. Clair's Catholic Church, uh, kind of on the fringe of Colony where I play, uh, kind of heading out towards Schenectady. So about 46 seconds here, about seven or so people in the lobby. We're going to take down this last Rayquaza right here, and I think we're going to call a night at this one. So let's see what we get at the end of this raid. The Rayquaza is done, so let's see if we can get something good off of the last one of the night. Come on, can we get the shiny tonight? That'd be amazing. 2131, oof, bad. Bad CP, bad IV. Can we get the shiny though? No, no shiny. Ah, that's too bad. So unfortunately I did not get that Rayquaza, but I did use it to get this Larvitar research quest done, the three excellence in a row. Let's see if it's shiny. Rip, not shiny. I It's 428. Uh, CP, I'm not sure if that's any good. I'll let you guys know on the screen if it is any good. I don't know how well you guys can see me, but there is actually one more thing I had to discuss before I really had to go. It's actually one of the other announcements I forgot to mention earlier, and that is a special gift event coming up in Pokemon Go starting August 5th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And in this event, all eggs received from gifts during the event will require only two kilometers to hatch and look like two kilometer eggs. And they're really seven kilometer eggs with baby Pokemon in them, but they're going to look like two kilometer eggs and it's only gonna take two kilometers to hatch them. And for the duration of the event, the number of gifts you can open will increase to 30, so just the 20 we normally have, and we'll be able to carry up to 20 gifts as well. So uh, also, if you hold on to those even after the event ends, They'll still be there, don't worry about that, it's just you won't be able to receive any more until you get below 10 to be able to pick more gifts up uh, to be able to pass them on to your friends. And most importantly, if you are lucky enough, you can receive a Shiny Bonsly. That's right, Shiny Bonsly is the newest Shiny baby to be added to the pool. It's going to be very exciting. I really want that myself. Shiny Bonsly actually looks really neat. Uh, it'll be up on the screen here, maybe, if I could fit it there. That's where it'll be. You'll see what Shiny Bonsly looks like. and also. Shiny Sudowoodo. So it's going to be very exciting to have those in the game. Hopefully I'll get those. And now, finally, that is going to do it for me. Hopefully you guys liked this vlog. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe. And if you're interested, hit that bell notification icon to be notified next time I post or go live. That's it, gang. Peace out for now. Remember to get good. And I'll catch you guys later.